in the chat room. We can hear you perfectly. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so we got PB Head going against Zap right here. Zap usually likes to found real early. Let's see what he's looking at. He's found a good cluster of resources up north. Uh, PB Head drops down immediately, though, on uh, some carbon. Uh, not really a great location, uh, two low carbons, but there is an uh, aluminum tile there, which makes it kind of kind of appealing. And he's also going for low aluminum. So that's basically the minimum you need for a scavenger scar, is two low carbons and a low aluminum. So not really a superstar. Ooh, that's an interesting tile. We got a high iron, extra low iron. But Zap goes... Um, Zap, on the other hand, goes scientific, and he has a classic um, potential iron triangle, maybe even more here. Um, <clears throat> so I like that start. He's surrounded by a lot of water, uh, and he already grabs himself a high aluminum. He has the better starting position right now. And not only that, but he found his second, so he's going to get the extra claim bonus at level 2. So I like Zap's position. However, PB had did found first. He's already up to level 2. <coughs> He is going to try to you know, rush ahead as quickly as possible. Uh, he already cl he's claiming a second aluminum, so his his two aluminums will produce um, basically the same as uh, Zap's uh, high aluminum. But of course, it's costing him two claims. Uh, he's also going west. Looks like he's going to be claiming some silicon. There doesn't look like there's a whole lot of silicon on that map, so <coughs> looks like he's trying to claim some early. Uh, oh, there is some nice look on north, uh, northwest of Zap's base. He could probably drop some glass furnaces there, not too far away from his base, so he could just ship some water. Uh, PB Head does grab the high water, which is good for him, but kind of irrelevant to Zap. Um, so, you know, he's making sort of, he's grabbing his, some, some basic resources on level two. More aluminum, some silicon, some water. Uh, here comes first claim auction. Uh, it's going for, uh, wow, 20,000. Uh, the, the jump after 20,000 goes up to 24,000, so it's often kind of, oh, and PB Ed does it. He throws down, he goes for 24,000. <coughs> I expect he's going to get this. I don't think Zap will go up to 28, um, but, you know, it's hard to say what the price is here. Uh, Zap, meanwhile, he is now at level 2. He's thrown down the third steel mill, which is very standard, um, and he's sitting on three extra claims. Probably deciding what to do with him right now. I would expect him to claim at least some of those water tiles that are connected to him, maybe throw down a reactor. Um, but he's still thinking about it. He, he does like to go for power early, and we know that... Uh, oh, that's interesting. PB Head, on the other hand, has claimed a geotherm, um, which kind of <coughs> thwarts the potential of power early, because uh, if PB Head does decide to go into power, he'll probably, um, you know, either Zap will have to counter with his own geotherm, or he'll be able to produce more power than Zap anyway. Uh, PB Head hits Zap with an early power surge, knocking out his three steel mills. Of note, though, is he's scientific, so the power surge lasts uh, half as long as normal. These, um, uh, these, uh, sorry about the looking sound, I forgot to turn those back on. Um, <coughs> um, so those steel mills will be back up in, in half time. Um, and, uh, so he did go for two glass furnaces. He's uh, shipping oxygen. He chose to do that instead of going for a reactor. Um, glass is already, you know, at seventy dollars. Um, may not have been the most economical move because <coughs> um, a reactor will produce basically as much oxygen, you know, as much oxygen and twice as much fuel as a glass furnace will produce glass, uh, and the prices aren't too far apart. Um, but that's what he's, he's going for right now. He knows, of course, that uh, PB Head is going to also have to uh, buy some glass. PB Head is in a lot of debt right now. His price is below $5. Oh, and he's building a single glass farm. This is an interesting move. I think he's afraid of Zap maybe getting a monop monop monopoly on the early uh, glass. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a great move for... Um, I'm not sure if that's a great move for uh, uh, PB Head right now because he, of course, will have to... He does have a source of silicon, but he'll have to buy the oxygen. Um, meanwhile, uh, uh, Zap has mutinied um, PB Head's uh, geotherm. He gets it for the full two minutes because he's uh, scientific and Zap is scavenger. Um, price of power is pretty high, so I would be, wouldn't be surprised to see uh, PB Head perhaps try to mutiny that back. Mutiny is still only $6,000. Um, <coughs> Zap has built some wind turbines, so he is deciding to... Oh, and the geotherm comes up for auction. This will be interesting to see what happens here. Um, 
Those wind turbines are up north. I, I do kind of question Zap's move sometimes in the going for the wind turbines and that he cannot he can't repurpose those for um, something else. If he instead put solar panels next to his base, he could then potentially delete the solar panels you see for something else. Plus, wind turbines cost carbon. Although carbon is super cheap right now, so it doesn't really matter. So wow, the geotherms go for twenty thousand. That's way more than you'll often see geotherms. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> go for it at this point. Um, Alright, let me know if the game volume is fine now. I've uh, I tried to uh, adjust it up a little bit. Uh, I think I had it off by default on my uh, on my game. Um, okay, so uh, so they're both building geotherms right now. By the time the mutiny is over, Zap will have another geotherm, so they'll start counting each other out. So basically Zap's the one who's benefited from the early geotherm. Of uh, people, yeah. new people, he did have after have, have to spend twenty thousand dollars on the other geotherm, uh, which is going to cost him a lot. Uh, but still, currently PB has, has uh, a lot more debt than Zap does. Uh, he is, um, uh, and probably a lot of that comes, frankly, from that mutiny uh, because that cut out uh, PB Head's uh, power entirely. Neither player has has got into uh, food, water, oxygen, although that's no longer true. PB, uh, PB Head has just built two electrolysis reactors. Interestingly enough, he put them next to <coughs> the water pump, which presumably that is because he's trying to claim up as much water as he can. I'm not sure if that'll work, considering uh, how much water there is on this map. Um, let's see what else is going on. Mark, mark, um, on line. There was another mutiny purchased. I'm not sure if it's been used yet. No, uh, Zap is sitting on a mutiny. Meanwhile, PB Head is sitting on the goon squad. They haven't committed it to anything yet. Uh, considering that they're both equal... Oh, there goes the mutiny. Uh... Scientific well, all right, Zap is, Zap is fully committed. He's, he's uh, mutinied the geotherm again. He's hoping basically to drive... Um, to drive PB Head in deeper into debt. You can see PB Head's stock price is dropping right now. Um... However, um, the black market is online. With that plan, I really question that wind turbine up north that Zap built. That really kind of wasted a claim because um, you know he's essentially producing too much power. Um, I, he, he almost has a decision right now to turn off his power production. He's making one hundred fifty dollars a second on it, which is nice, but. <coughs> He could also, if that price rose, really drive PB Head into debt even further. Because right now there's a pretty big gap in their stock price. There's a three dollar gap there uh, that can make a huge difference um, in, uh, in winning the game. All right. PB Head has a sitting on a claim. Looks like he just committed to something. He's uh, claiming a tile next to his colony. Uh, we'll find out shortly what it is. In the meantime, a third geotherm has come up for auction. I'm not sure what will happen here. I don't think this should bid, they should go up too high for this because power is just going to get swamped. With two geotherms on a map with two players, this is an overbid, I believe. Um, I think he really should have dropped that on PB Head for 18000 That would have pushed PBS stock price down to $3. Um, I, don't think, I don't think there's really much use for a third geotherm. Um, <coughs> you know, unless Zap is really wanting, wants to go all in on this power strategy. Um, in which case I might uh, expect to see him um, power surge, or I guess potentially mutiny again, that geotherm as soon as it comes up. Um, PB Head in the meantime has used his uh, good squad on this building that he's creating, uh, which is a hacker. Uh, um, I would expect to see him perhaps uh, short carbon. This is what could make him dangerous. Now that he has a hacker array, uh, he can do a lot of potential damage uh, to Zap um, by shorting something that uh, Zap doesn't have. Um, in the meantime, um, what else is going on? So the goon squad, the, uh, sorry, the hacker array is up and we're seeing a fuel surplus. That's Scientific colony uh, what, Why is he doing a fuel surplus? They're both, they both have reactors. Um, and they both have the exact same number of reactors, so I'm not really sure what the fuel surplus is supposed to accomplish. <coughs> um, and in the meantime, they both are both running on farms right now. Um, 
BB has a slight advantage there in that he has three farms, whereas Zap only has two. Um, you know, the price of food is uh, quite good. Uh, Zap, of course, also. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I messed this up. Zap is doing the fuel surplus. Um, it, again, I don't see what still that doesn't make much sense to me. They both have a fuel. Um, PB Head, on the other hand, is doing a food surplus, which is also strange considering that PB Head has, three, has more farms uh, than Zap. Uh, these are good players. Surpluses are very good moves in two-player games, but in this case, I'm not really sure uh, what they're trying to accomplish <coughs> with them. Maybe that they're afraid that the other player is, you know, bought up a big, a big food surplus or a big fuel service. surplus. In this case, neither one is true. Um, uh, Zap is still not I built on his, his second uh, geotherm. Which Price might be a good move right now. The price of power shortly. is inching up to ninety, maybe soon to be a hundred dollars. PP Head, in the meantime, has a sub four dollar stock price. Uh, he blew up uh, Zap's hacker array real close to the core headquarters, so that's really not going to make much of a difference. Not sure if that's really a great use of a geotherm. I think, he, uh, sorry, of a dynamite. I think he perhaps should use it instead on Zap's geotherm. A new claim um, is available but for those hacker arrays are scary. Two player game. Both we know that both these players yeah. like to use the hacker array. Uh, here we go. Zap is doing a. Uh, no, no, this must Seven. be PB Head. PB Nine. Head is doing a uh, slight uh, is doing a Nine. silicon shortage. He realizes Nine. he's the only player who uses silicon. Uh, carbon silicon Nine. are sort of the obvious two things for him to short. One of the problems with being scientific is you don't Nine. you don't produce the primary resources. So you can if you want to, but Nine. normally you don't, which Eight. means that um, <coughs> you can be vulnerable if the other player uh, you know runs a shortage in a resource you don't have. So. Having said that, however. Um, PB Head does not really have much of a stockpile of silicon, considering that he's been producing uh, glass, although he's, he's destroyed his glass furnaces, so it looks like he's, he's looking to stockpile silicon. Uh, he can make some decent money there. His stock price is really starting to get out of control, though. He's about to drop below $3. Um, I would really like Zap to see Zap start buying him up now. Uh, he could easily buy three shares of his stock. Um, I'm not I'm not sure Your why he's waiting. Yep, uh, here we go. Um, uh, by the way, can someone take a peek at the uh, Twitch homepage uh, to let me know if we're actually on there? Um, <coughs> we should be now. And also, um, if uh, uh, Layla and uh, Zach let me know, uh, sorry, if Layla and Zoltar let me know whether they've worked out the uh, streaming issues on their end. Uh, whoa, Zap already. Wow. Okay. That went quickly. Uh, short story uh, of that game PB Head just let his stock price get out of control. Um, all right, let me see here, um, all right, well, good job, Zap, a, uh, a strong, uh, first, first game victory, this is best of five, um, so, you know, there's still, still plenty of time for PP Head to recover, um, <coughs>